high gas prices continue to affect all Americans at this point, with the national average at 378 a gallon. No wonder people are second guessing their travel plans. But our next guest is taking those high gas prices into account. She and her son are traveling the East Coast looking at colleges, about eight of them so far, doing so on the cheap. Wow. He's trying to. Joining us is automotive expert and spokesperson for the nonprofit, the Car Care Council, the car coach herself, Lauren Fix. A lot of alliteration. Nice to see you this morning, Lauren. <laughs> Thank Welcome. You. So you're traveling to all these different colleges, right. and it's really difficult because just as soon as you fill up, your car is back on empty again. How are you cutting back? Well, we have, we have a bunch of different cars, and I'm the car coach, and we're, we're actually going to take a, the best fuel-efficient car to do the college road trips. So instead of flying and, and doing all these family vacations, we decided this summer is going to be looking at colleges, trying to be more productive in that. And then also you have to think about the bigger picture when we're looking at these colleges. I have one, my daughter's at Marist, and I start thinking back and forth to school. That's going to be a lot of fuel, and which car do you take to school? It has to be maintained well. So we're going to use the little Mini Cooper and go check out all these colleges. But we're not going to... Uh, change the list of schools based on how far away it is from. Well, we kind of did. No, actually. we're not. Yes, are we? yes, we were thinking California, and then we were thinking, you know, the Midwest. And so he's an act. He likes acting. He's been on television before, and he wants to do finance. So he's decided somewhere in that New York area. So no further north than Marist, but he's also looking no like more than a tank of gas. No is more than a tank of gas for the college. Well, because if you get, send your kid to school in a car, you know, he's got a little Mini yeah. Cooper, and you want it to be well maintained because you don't want your kid having to go somewhere who some stranger to work on the vehicle and back and forth on road trips. And how has this changed the, the choice of education here? I mean, this really is affecting his education, the actual fuel costs. Well, it's funny. The private schools seem to be the schools that are the ones that are, have more opportunity because the public schools are just getting three, four times the applications. As we learned when my daughter looked, the same yeah. thing. So we have to go and see every school. We've got 10 schools in the list. That so that's the summer, place. my that's summer vacations, you know. <laughs> All right, so you have some tips to save yeah. gas and get where you want to go. Number one, why does the tire pressure matter? Well, if you think about it, if you don't check your tire pressure and the tire pressure drops and you figure, well, it's not a big deal, there's a couple things to consider. One, tires are very expensive. They used to be less expensive, but guess what's in tires? Oil. So you think so that means the cost of tires have gone up dramatically, actually. It seems like every manufacturer has raised them recently. So you want to take the best care of them. Part of that is checking your tire pressure against the number inside your driver's door. Uh, and if you don't, it's like driving with your parking brake on. Okay. Also, the gas cap, that's yep. another important thing, and the air filter. So the yes. gas cap, of course, new cars yep. are getting these uh, uh, capless free yeah, cars. Yeah, Ford has that. But some yeah. of the older ones, you, what, what's the deal here? you got to make sure they're on tight. Right. You want to hear a couple of clips. Last year, the Car Care Council found that 147 million gallons of gas evaporated. That's just like crazy. Because they didn't tighten their cap? Yeah, because the fumes evaporate. That's what actually burns, not the liquid. Hmm. And, of course, all that basic maintenance. That. You want to be car care aware, and you want to do all the, everything that's in your owner's manual. And a check engine light will cost you 40% at the gas pump. That's, it just takes away all your fuel Pay economy. attention. Huh? All right, this number four is for me. Get the junk out of the trunk. <laughs> I carry around my golf clubs all the time. I just took out my Home Depot load from about two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So why is that so important? Well, think about it. It's like having an extra two or three people in the car, depending upon what you bought at Home Depot. If you get cinder blocks. Paint. And, okay, well, that's heavy. <laughs> a lot of it. It's like yeah. leaving your golf club. In the, in the trunk. Think about that extra weight. You have to propel that. That uses fuel. That's energy. And there goes your what gas. Dave, yeah, Dave does <laughs> like a lot of junk in the trunk. Um, <laughs> avoiding left turns, you say, on the list here, right. I find interesting also. What is, what is, what is, don't do a NASCAR race. Right. right. Actually, it's interesting because that's UPS is doing that. They plot out each driver's You're run. You're kidding me. Yes, to make right turns. They're thinking, sitting at an intersection, waiting to make a left turn. When the car idles, like at a drive-thru, okay. you're getting zero miles to the gallon. So you have to wait for traffic to clear. If you're making a right turn, they plot the whole map out as right turns. So you're saving gas by making right turns. I guess if you have a daily route that you commute to work, maybe look at it and reposition it right. a little bit. It's kind of fun. It's a money. challenge. I mean, right now, the cost of gas is unreasonable. You know, you don't drive like a NASCAR driver. You, have to be, <laughs> you know, the light turns red in front of you. You can coast to the light. When the light turns green, you don't have to slam on the gas. All these little tips and tricks will save you at the pump, and it does add up a little too percent here three percent there sure suddenly as you were saying you had luggage in your trunk and you couldn't believe how much you lost in fuel economy. yeah this morning driving in Baby luggage in the trunk there buddy yeah. <laughs> Lord the trunk. fix thanks for being here good tips thank thanks you for.